slow. This is my s false self again. It's all about what's on your mind. I began spiritual journey probably about seriously two years ago. I read Mello and now it's into Thomas Keating and now also before that Thomas Merton and now I'm starting to listen into other or well, even before that but now I'm also listening to what I consider um, Enlightened people like Osho or uh, Mojo recently from YouTube. And um, I just want to share my thoughts that the essence is basically to be, to find the inner peace, to find God. Everything is already there inside. One thing that we have to do is to drop our illusions, to drop our uh, programmings, what's inside our head, to drop our um, attachments, to drop our egos, uh, to drop our false belief in Christianity, we call it false self, in, um, in Indian culture, I think they call it Maya, illusions. Um, in Buddhism, they call it attachments. Or, uh, and it's basically the definition of attachment is there are two kinds of desire that desire that, um, that if it's unfulfilled, you're still okay with it. But the other kind of desire which uh, I'm going to describe and this is the category of at attachment is the desire where if you cannot fulfill it, you feel unhappy. And of course, if you fulfill it, you'll be happy, excited, thrilled. And this kind of desire that has to be dropped that if it's not fulfilled, you'll be happy, depressed, fear, shy, um, anxiety, um, apathy, agony, despair, sadness, all of those negative emotions. Uh, it's very simple to do or to not to do, to understand, but it's very difficult to, to drop it because those attachments are in our unconscious level. And even though our mind wants to do it, the subconscious level just doesn't want to do it. And it takes patience, it takes some lucky people probably they get a flash of awareness, a flash of uh, dropping all of these attachment or illusions just like that. But for me, uh, it happens to me gradually and painstakingly, one by one. Uh, and it's a journey which for me has been joyful, has been painful has been and has been lonely has been lonely and but in that loneliness I found uh, 
solitude, I found um, inner peace. Um, this is because we are all attached to meeting people. Uh, I wonder how many people are not attached to people. And when you start this journey, it feels like you're lonely. And I was lonely. And I do still feel lonely from time to time. But it's not so... It used to be, you know. It's, it's more like I can uh, dissociate myself from that loneliness. And I'm just aware, oh, there goes my thoughts again. And all of this, the teachings from the one I heard, the Damalos, Osho, um, Thomas Merton, uh, Thomas Keating in his uh, Centering Prayer, or even the, the other uh, mystics from other religions, um, it's, it's basically the same thing. It's that we begin with ourself and there's nothing more to acquire, there's nothing more to achieve. Everything that you're seeking for is inside already. Happiness is inside us. Uh, and our mind is the one who is making all of this misery. misery. And I just remember that I just watched uh, this video from I forgot the name, I think Taylor Bolt, uh, she's a brain scientist and she, she had an experience of uh, having a hemorrhage at the back of her head on her brain and because of that uh, she got paralyzed on the left hemisphere. You can watch this video on your own but to take this uh, story short because of that um, experience she was paralyzed, her left brain, which is the function of the left brain basically is to to think the past, to think about the future, to think methodically, to think in numbers, to think logically, while the right brain is about this present moment, this awareness of having this present moment in being here right now. And because of that, she felt a tremendous euphoria, a tremendous oneness. She felt like an energy being. She couldn't differentiate herself with other creatures. She felt everything is one. Everything is, is, is cells, is molecules, it's, it's we, there is no I. So. The left brain is the one is we have a lot of thoughts, a lot of things going on. We want to do something. We want to do this. I haven't read Eckhart Tolle the, uh, with his book *The Power of Now*, but I think what he's saying is about the same thing. Basically, *The Power of Now*. I think from what I heard uh, from my friend who already uh, read it is about being in the present moment. But but we cannot do this it's it's as simple as that but we cannot do this because